What's up guys, Brennan Kessler, Cabo Cribs. I'm living here in beautiful, sunny Cabo San Lucas. And as some of you know, I have traveled the world. I have lived in many, many other countries, including Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, China, Korea, India, uh, other parts of Mexico. So why do I choose to live here in Cabo San Lucas? Well, we're gonna go ahead and talk about that a little bit here. Um, one of my, Mexico in general was my first love. Well, me and my friends, when we were 18, we did a road trip from Washington State all the way to Rosarita Beach, and we had an amazing time. And I think that planted a little seed in my brain, you know, which kind of just, you know, led to this adventure and, you know, Mexico being this amazing place, you know, with beautiful people, beautiful women, fun parties, things like this, of course. But then there's, you know, after I've traveled so, so many other places, you start to really, you know, find down, check down the little boxes that are really important to you. So before here, I was living in Thailand for a long time, actually for about five years. And Thailand also is an amazing place to live. The problem with Thailand is the immigration. So when you get a stamp, when you fly into Thailand, you get a 30 day visa stamp, which means you get to live there for 30 days. And if you do that beforehand, if you go to the Thai immigration and you do it before, you, you can actually get two months. So that gives you 60 days that you can live in that country before you have to leave the country and come back. And so that means like every 60 days and sometimes that you can get an extension for another 30 days. So let's call it 90 days. So 90 days I could live in Thailand and this is at the maximum. And then I would have to leave and go to Cambodia for a day or two and then come back. And then I would repeat that process again and then I would go to Wow and come back. And then I would go to Vietnam and come back. And then I would go to China. And at that time I was actually fighting professionally so I would always try to line up my fights so that way they would um, work out with my visa. So that way, okay, my visa is about to expire. I need a fight. Let's get a fight in China, fly to China get a fight, make some money, and then come back and get my new visa at the same time. So that was kind of like my strategy, and I did that for a long time. Um, but that gets old after a while. So then I also, for a year, ended up doing a, um, I got a student visa where I learned to speak Thai. So yeah, so I did that. And that was cool, but that's expensive as well. And you know, who wants to go to Thai school for the rest of their life? So in Thailand, they make it, it's not very easy. And, and this is just one example of one country most countries make it extremely difficult for you to live there whereas Mexico makes it very easy like it's the easiest country to live in when you first come here when you fly here on your tourist visa you get six months immediately everybody gets a six months stamp when you look at your little stamp you're getting six months and I've heard that they change that I have never seen any different other than six months so you can check that out. Now then, to get residency here, it's even easier. I'm, I'm Mexican, okay? I've got my temporary residency, which costs me an entire $1,500. And then in two years, I get my permanent residency. So my temporary residency means that I can live here now for four years and not have to go back to the States, not have to do any, we call them visa runs. So. The other times when I was living here, I was still actually competing in martial arts. So every six months I would go, I would do a grappling tournament in Florida, or I would go, um, you know, do a grappling tournament so, somewhere that was close, like a direct flight. Um, I forget what were the other uh, one it was, Tennessee. So, you know, whatever had cheap direct flights, something like that, of course I would go home and visit my family as well. But again, that gets old, right? So getting residency here in Mexico is extremely easy, literally costs you practically nothing where like in other countries like Thailand and all Southeast Asia, um, they don't have that. They don't even have that option. Uh, I don't know why they don't, but they don't. But Mexico wants you to live here. Like they, they really appreciate it. They appreciate, um, you know, us coming in and us helping out their community and that makes it so much easier. Now, now, out of all the places I've been, I actually did a 45-day uh, road trip through all of Mexico, starting from Washington. We went through, um, th 
through uh, Chihuahua, all the way through Durango, down through Puerto Vallarta, Guadalajara, Mexico City, up through Veracruz, all the way through, actually ended up in Belize. And so I've seen pretty much every every single country, or excuse me, actually every state in, uh, in Mexico. And the reason I love uh, Cabo is, well, the weather, okay? The weather is good all year long. It, we don't have a bad month. People say like, oh, hurricane season's bad. Hurricane season's not even bad. Like the weather is still good. At worst case scenario, you get a little bit of rain for 20 minutes, it stops, you head right back to the beach. I mean, the weather here, I have never been to a place that tops the weather in Cabo San Lucas. And on top of that, it's extremely safe. So I used to live in Playa del Carmen. They have a lot of problems over there with, um, you know, we'll call them whatever you want, narcos. They have a lot of issues over there with guys fighting, things like that. We don't have that issue here in Cabo San Lucas. It's extremely safe. Um, what else can I say? You know, Cabo is not the cheapest place in Mexico. I'm not going to lie and tell you it's cheaper than Guadalajara or something like that. But, I mean, it has so much to, to offer. And the other thing that it has is it's, it's, it's a direct flight for so many different places. So me, I'm from Washington State, I can fly home direct for four, in four hours. So if you live in Denver, Colorado, that's three hours. If you live in Dallas or something, that's like three hour for direct flight. That makes it extremely nice. That with the immigration, the weather, the beautiful people, how nice everything is, the resorts, you know, you're just the lifestyle that you can live versus the lifestyle in other countries and things like that. Um, yeah, it just, for me, it checks all the boxes. Um, let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite country? I'm really curious if you guys like, you know, I know uh, the other thing too, during COVID, I mean, we didn't really get shut down. Like we, we kind of got shut down. We didn't get shut down. Everything was still open. There was speakeasies open. You know, we didn't have any of this, you know, really heavy, like, you know, mandate stuff. I mean, we were still out going, having a good time, you know, whereas Thailand was completely shut down. They wanted a two week quarantine. Um, you know, so many other countries in Asia were shut down. So yeah, I mean that I'm about my freedom. Like whenever anybody asks me like, why, why do you live outside? Why did you leave America? And it's freedom because I want real true freedom. Okay. When, you know, I, I don't feel free in America. I don't like, there's just so many different restrictions and things. I, I want to live in a free country. And for me, Mexico is the land of the free. I'm sorry to tell you that, but I am much more free here in Mexico than I am in America. And, um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I'm very curious as to what you guys think. And, um, yeah, let me know if you have any other questions, too, about immigration here. Obviously about real estate here, if you guys are interested in real estate. I've got uh, so many different options I can show you guys, you know, ranging from 200K all the way to 20 million. So, any questions you've got, Brandon at CaboCribs.com or Instagram, BK Cabo. And I think even Facebook is BKMMA, I think. So, yep, I'll see you guys in the sunshine. See you soon.